you ever think about ghosts? Or scary things? Or things that go bump in the night? For Vincent Pretty Penny, who calls himself a paranormal investigator, it's all that he thinks about. And recently, he bought a house just because he thinks it'll finally prove him right. That's this week on Life in America. Vincent, tell me about where we are. Is this the house you, you bought? Uh, yes, this is my beautiful new home. Quite a, a, a historic find. Now, most people don't think it's a good idea to buy a house in the middle of the Louisiana swamps. Is that right? <laughs> That's what most people think, my dear boy. But not me, not I. This is, there's no place I would rather be. How did you find this house? Well, in my line of business, you often come into contact with people that uh, have had experiences, contacts with uh, uh, greater uh, forces, paranormal activities, and so on and so forth. And um, I, uh, well, I don't want to give away too much, but let's just say that a, a very good friend of mine, a very good friend indeed, uh, alerted me to this home and the fact that it was finally on the market without any bidders because of its um, lurid history. Um, so thankfully I was able to uh, snatch it up without paying a pretty penny. <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, this is your first time actually seeing the house, right? You just got the keys and you're about to go inside for the first time? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, apparently the home comes with its own butler as part of the purchase price, which is quite, uh, quite an arrangement. Um, I, I, I am giddy as a schoolgirl to see the inside of this home. Well, Vincent, let's, let's, let's go inside. Let's walk across. Um, I gotta admit this, this yard is a little overgrown. Oh, yes, that, that, that will be one of the uh, butler's first line of business. I, I have quite, quite a list of chores for him. Okay, well, let's, let's go ahead and ring the doorbell. Hello, Master. You must be Vincent Pretty Penny. Yes, I am, and you must be my butler. Yes, I am Charlemagne Popplebottom of the Hampton Popplebottom. Here are my bags. Ah, thank you. I'll bring them into your room. Great, and Caden, do you, do you need a glass of water or anything? Uh, no, no thank you, I'm, I'm good. How, how do you... this is your first time meeting the butler? This is my first time meeting the butler. Oh, that's, that's interesting. He seems like a good butler. Well, I hope so. We'll see. Master Clearwater, will you be staying here as well? Yes, I, if that's okay with you, Vincent, I, you know, if we're going to be doing this profile, I should probably try and stay as close to you as possible. Please, I insist. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Charlemagne, do I call you that? What, what, what should I call you? Mr. Popplebottom? Uh, whatever you prefer. Oh, okay, Mr. Mr. Popplebottom, how, how long have you been with the house? Hmm, as long as I can remember. Oh, that's, that's interesting. And who were the previous owners? Ooh, we don't talk about them. Oh, why, did something bad happen? No, I just signed an NDA. Oh, oh, that's... Is that standard for a butler to sign an NDA? Uh, mostly. I see a lot of nudes. Oh, well, I guess um, I guess we should uh, settle in then, and um, let's see how this goes. Master Clearwater, Master Pretty Penny. Uh, now that you are settled in, we will commence the tour. Excellent, excellent. I cannot wait to see my new home. Here is the drawing room. Mm. Where we have tables and chairs and you can take your evening tea. Mr. Mr. Popplebottom, I notice there's a lot of dust and cobwebs. I, I, I'm not saying you're not doing your job, of course, but just how long has it been since somebody used this room? Unfortunately, uh, due to the pending sale, this is actually my first day back, so I have to uh, try to add some more cobwebs and dust, but, um... Yes, per my request. You wanted it like this, Vincent. Absolutely, nothing feels more homey to me than cobwebs and uh, 
old, uh, heavy furniture and, and drapes closed against the windows. Oh, well, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yes. Uh, moving on to the next room here is the drawing room where we do all the drawings. Um, this is mostly uh, those French girls and other such sorts, but it isn't used much lately. Mm. Yeah, I, there's a lot of nudity in this room. I, was that from the previous owner or was that another request of yours, Vincent? <laughs> I'll never tell. <laughs> oh, okay. Moving on to the next room. This is the dining hall. Fixed with 18 chairs, one large table, several servants' dens, a dumb waiter, a dumb butler. <laughs> That's a joke I tell. And also a roaring fireplace. Oh, this is interesting. You gonna have a lot of parties here, Vincent? You can fit a lot of people in here. <laughs> Oh, I believe we'll be doing quite a bit of entertaining, quite a bit indeed. Off to the left here is the uh, door to the wine cellar. Uh, it is butlers only, unfortunately. Uh, it is a stipulation in the contract. So, so we're not allowed down there? Absolutely not. Not even Vincent, the owner of the house? Not even Vincent. Oh, well that's interesting. Vincent, Vincent. Yes, yes. Might be worth having a look down there. Oh, I was thinking the same exact thing. Um, yes, Mr. Popplebutter, we would never presume to, uh, go into your, uh, wine cellar. Yes, and I'll just double lock it right now. Ah, good. Moving on to the next room. This is the grand hall leading up to the double staircase. Oh! Um, oh what, what was, was that? that? Oh, the wine gets very temperamental. Hmm. Oh, really? Moving on, the, like I said, that this is sense. The, the Great Hall with the double staircase. It's quite echoey in here, as you can notice. Um, and the, the carpets here are made of the finest uh, sheepskin in all the land. Uh, we've flown them in special from uh, northeastern Russia. Moving on to the east wing of the house, here we have the... Uh, well, it's sort of another drawing room, but we call it the Red Room, uh, because everything is red. Uh, it has a nice desk here, a, also a globe that opens up to whiskey and other sort of drinks. Um, it's more of a burgundy, I would guess, but okay. Moving on to the next room, off of here is the uh, Servants' Quarters. This is sort of a, see if you grab this book here and pull it. It opens this old bookcase here, and that leads to oh, one of the, the many hallways between the rooms so servants can get around quite quickly. Well, that's interesting. Mis Mr. Popplebottom, how long have you lived here? I've lived here um, since I was a small boy. Oh, and you, and you alone live back there? You don't have any other servants to help you, like a chef? Oh, there used to be other servants, but they were required for uh, other things. Oh, hmm, that's interesting. Mr. Mr. Popplebottom, in, in all your time here at this uh, house, have you seen, um, have you personally experienced anything supernatural that you would oh, like to share? Dear Lord, no. I tend to tune out the screams, I mean the machines, I mean the loud noises from the outside. But I, um, no, nothing scary here or anything like that. Oh, that's, uh, that's, that's quite disappointing, um... Has the sale closed completely? Um, you signed it this morning. And you I, have the I, keys, Vincent. Is this your first time yeah. buying a house? It, it, I'm a first time home buyer. Um, thinking that maybe I rushed into this a little bit uh, too quickly. Well, you did You did move down here from Syracuse, right? Just to buy this house? I, 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 yeah, somebody told me that uh, I wouldn't notice a single difference uh, in a be very easy to adjust between here and New York, and um, it uh, that's not quite the case, it, it seems like. I live in a swamp now. Oh. Well, how, how does that make you feel? Uh... Gentlemen, if you excuse me, I need to go work in the wine cellar. Yes, yes. Uh, be on your way. Ah, 
the wine cellar. I love it down here. So how are our new residents? The new residents are settling in perfectly, sir. So there shouldn't be any interruptions to our plans? The machine will be completed on schedule. Excellent, excellent. I just need to work out the mechanism to ensure that it will work long after we are gone and have ascended. How much longer? I need them to trust me completely so I may do the extractions. <laughs> Perfect. The fools. They don't know what they've gotten themselves into. Mm, I do love it in the wine cellar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going upstairs now. Bye-bye. Uh, Mr. Popplebottom looks like quite a, uh, spread you've prepared here. Ah, yes. In uh, the main dish is roast meat. Uh, with on the sides here we have creamed yams, uh, fresh shucked corn, and um, delicious peas stringed earlier this morning. Uh, so the meat, what what kind of meat? Surprise meat. <laughs> is it is is it vegan meat? Yes. Let's just say no no animals are harmed by you eating this. Okay, it's just I'm a vegan on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I'm a vegetarian Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, Sundays are my dairy cheat days. Thank goodness it's leap day. Oh, that's my ultimate cheat day. I can eat whatever I want. You enjoy your meal. Oh, oh, that's, it's, it's a bit chewy, and it, it's, it's like it's getting juicier the more I chew it. Oh, have, have you... Vincent, have a bite of this. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, oh, I've never felt a sensation like this in my mouth before. Oh, the succulent juices flowing down my throat. Quite oh, delicious. Oh, I feel, I feel better. I, I wasn't feeling bad in the first place, but I, I feel better now. What? It's oh, this is this is incredible, Mister Popplebottom. I feel like years have been added to my life. I'm glad you enjoy it, gentlemen, and if you excuse me, I shall go prepare dessert in the kitchen. Oh, can we put in requests? Yes. So, I request, um, a very large cake that takes a very long time to make. And then a tiramisu on the side, please. But like, like a Costco sheet cake size tiramisu. Yes, I'll see what I can scrounge up for you, gentlemen. Oh, and t t take as much time as you need, okay? Yes. Vincent, now's our chance. Yes. Right, right, to the cellar. We have a spare opportunity here. A brief moment where we're not bothered by the butler Popplebottom. Vincent, where are we heading right now? We are heading to the wine cellar where we heard a very loud commotion earlier, and Popple Bottom seems to be mysteriously resistant to the idea of us entering, quote unquote, his wine cellar. Yes, I, I, I hope we can get. Oh, both of the locks are unlocked. That seems a little weird, but I, I guess we got lucky. I swear, when I saw this just a few minutes ago, it was locked. Well. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's open the gift horse's door. Oh, it's really dark. Do you see a light switch anywhere? Uh, uh, uh no, I don't. Or a candle? Oh, Feel around a bit. Wait, Vincent, do you see that? There's like a there's like a glow at the bottom that, of the yeah. stairs. Y yes, my my eyes are adjusting. I I do see that. It looks like. A glow from a, a flame of some sort. Oh, let's let's. These these are really long stairs. Oh. Ah, spooky. Oh. I. Okay, I guess we just gotta keep going. I hope I, if he caught us, we, we can't turn back now. Oh, this is delightful. Exactly the kind of spooky home I had wished to purchase. Well, these are these are long stairs, but Vincent, we gotta we gotta hurry up before we get caught. 
Yes, absolutely. Is it just me or does it seem like the stairs are getting longer? They're, they're getting longer, go but down. faster. Go faster. Faster. Not, Come on. I'm going as fast as I can. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, ah, whoa. Ah! has been sprung. They're in my domain now. <laughs> they went down the basement stairs like a couple of people go downstairs. Most exciting. Oh, good. <laughs> you really burned them. But quickly, I must get to the second floor. I have to activate the cradle before they reach the inner sanctum. Yes, yes, there is much left to do. Hurry. Make my way up the stairs, through the third door, into the second hall, through the baby's room, the cradle. It's still here. Time to activate. Ah, I, I, that should be it. Now, what is the next step, my liege? The next step, my loyal subject is for you to meet us in the inner sanctum to complete the ritual. Yes, that's perfect. I shall grab my dress robes and be down. Good, you can find them in the drawing room. Which one? Uh, the, the one with the clothes, but not the one with, like, the normal clothes, the one with, like, the ritual clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is this is Caden Clearwater from Life in America. Things have taken a very strange turn here with Vincent Pretty Penny and his Louisiana mansion purchase. We've we found our way into the wine cellar and we we descended what felt like an endless staircase and then we fell. For v Vincent, are you are you here, Vincent? Are you awake? Uh, are you awake, Vincent? Uh, yes, I, I fell on I, my fanny. I, I I I think I have a bump on my head now, but I'm okay. I just how how long was that fall? It felt like we were falling forever. It felt like an eternity, but here we are, wherever here is. Okay, well, let's let's Vincent. Do you see? Yes? Do you see that glow? What? What is that ethereal glow? Yes, I can see it. It's... It's... I don't know, but it looks like... I can tell by the glow that we're in some sort of tunnel under the house. I... I suppose so. Should... Should we check it out? Yes, let's... Let's walk towards it. I... I guess it's kind of a... Don't go towards the light, but what else are we going to do, you know? I've always heard advice. If you see a bright light at an end of a tunnel, you're supposed to go towards it. I don't remember why, though. Do you hear that? Yes, it is a, a tune. It sounds like a child's uh, carnival tune. It's, yeah, it's, it's kind of, I don't know if the recorder's picking that up. I mean, folks at home can hear it, but there's a, there's a weird carnival, carnival noises, like, it's getting louder as we're walking towards the glow, but it's... I, can, I think I can even hear the carnival barker, and... And I think that was... Was that an elephant that I heard? In the grinding. The grinding of some machine. Vincent, the glow. I, I see... I see what it is. It's a... Yes, yes. It, it's a door. It's a glowing door. At the end of this long, long tunnel. Wow. I wonder what could lay beyond. Oh, I... Okay, let's, um... Let's open the door. Oh my. Vincent, what? Is that? Is that? A carousel made of human bones! Vincent, I've seen this before. I've been here before. What do you mean? You've been in my home? No, in my dreams. I've seen this exactly. What's going on?
pinch of Cajun powder, three alligator teeth, old mama's pie. These robes don't fit as well as they used to be, my lord. Too much of old mama's pie, it seems, for you. Yes, I think so. Do we know where the knife is? Where does it reside in the realm of darkness? The knife, the knife is down in the carousel chamber, and it seems our friends have just stumbled upon it. Ah, good, and we can end both of them in a few minutes. No, not both, not Caden. Why not? They know too much. He still has great value to us. That can be exploited. I do not agree, and I am the one on the mortal plane. And I am your master. You will do as I say, or I will find a new assistant. Ah, the headaches. Yes, I'm doing that to you. Ah, yes. But I still don't know why. Your job is not to understand, it is only to obey. This, this is incredible. This carousel, this is, this is beyond my wildest imaginings, my wildest dreams for what I could find in this house. Vincent, this is, this is very strange. This, this, how? Yes. How, it's, it's in the basement, in a dark, I don't even, where are the walls? I don't even see the walls. There's just darkness around us. We appear to be in a void. This is simply incredible. Don't you love it? Vincent, where'd the doorway go? It's disappeared. Vincent, this doesn't feel good. This is, I, I'm telling you. I've had dreams about this. I've had dreams about a carousel made of bones in a very spooky haunted amusement park. I thought it was just a recurring nightmare, but this is this is exactly like it is. There's the there's the upside down horse. There's the the crocodile with legs. There's the there's the human on all fours with buck teeth. This is not good. Vincent, this is not good. This is great. This is fantastic. Don't you realize what this means? It means that more than mere chance brought you here. There is some greater force at work, and I can't wait to discover what it is. Let's take a closer look at this carousel. Vincent, I have to be honest with you. Yes? My podcast, Life in America, it's it's about weirdos, okay? It's about, it's about people who are stupid or who are strange or who have problems. And that's why I wanted you on the show. What? Because you're weird, and and you believe ghosts are real, and you spent your entire life savings on a house just because you thought it may have ghosts in it, and I thought that would make a very, very funny tongue-in-cheek, but interesting life story for Life in America, episode 2020. And I think it's just, this is, this is too much, Vincent. This is, I, I hate to say it, but I, I think you may be right. There's something very wrong going on here. Yes, and now... Who appears to be the weirdo who's worth laughing at? It's not me. It's you. Ha, 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 I say unto thee. I feel very strange. I feel like... I feel like part of me wants to leave and never come back here. But part of me feels like I'm home. Yes. This is very strange. I know the exact feeling. Perhaps it's time to take a ride on the carousel. Vincent, that's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. The music's starting again. It's the, look, the center of the carousel. It's opening up. It's a doorway. Who is that? Hello. Popplebottom. Mr. Popplebottom. Welcome to your doom. Oh no, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's just like in my, it's just like in my dream. It's just like in my dream. So, Popplebottom, how can I assist you in whatever uh, macabre. Shut up, Vincent oh. Pretty Penny. What? Caden, what is this you said about a dream? What dream? You do not have the dream. I've been here before. I don't know how. I, I don't know how, but I've seen this before. I know every single detail. I know there's there's a, there's a shark painting on the left side of this. I know I've, I've ridden this carousel in my dream and it never ends well. It's a nightmare. This is bad. How does he know? How does he have access to this? Master, what is going on? 
Welcome, everyone. The plan is about to be executed. Caden, welcome to your new home. Who... who... who are you? Who... I am he who is eternal. He who is older than names and time. And yes. it is now time yes. to extract yes. the soul of one oh. Vincent Pretty Penny. Yes. To extend my dominance. Yes, I... 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 I agree. I... Yes, Master. Listeners, this is the Master. He... He controls my destiny, Master. Vincent. Ride what? the carousel, Vincent. What? 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 No, no, I, I don't want to be the victim. I, I, I want to be a part of this. I, 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 I want to help. Unhand me! Unhand me! Vincent. Come here, Vincent. Come here. Come, Vincent. It's your time to ride the carousel. No. We'll put you on Nectar. She's the nicest horse. It'll be okay. I hope she doesn't buck. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. No. Now. Just tighten these straps here. Ah. Now, ah. Master, start the machine. It's time. Begin. Yes, listen to the music. Feel it go up and down. Oh. Around and round. I yes. feel my soul being stripped from my body. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that's right. Oh. Oh, that's right. Get the knife and end this. Oh, what a pretty knife. A pretty penny. Ah! Oh. oh, look at... Master, Master, is that how it works? I see his blood drain down across the bones into the floor of the carousel. Oh, oh, hop off, quick. The carousel is collapsing. The top come down to meet the bottom and chew the bones of Vincent Pretty Penny. Oh, it's incredible. Listeners, you wouldn't believe. You wouldn't believe what I'm seeing now. It's just incredible. What now, Master? I feel myself renewed. Energy, life force, restored. There is new power in me, and much to be done. A new owner to find, and plans to be executed. Master, I know I am but new, but I have an idea, if I may. Yes, I'm listening. Hello, this is Christy Karnston for ABC 11 5 News Hour. And I'm here down at the uh, creepy mansion bayou, which is having its uh, ribbon cutting ceremony. This new, original uh, haunted house amusement park is one that the whole family can enjoy. And I'm here with the proprietors. Mr. Caden Clearwater and Charlemagne Popplebottom. Gentlemen, it is so nice to meet you. Hello. Thank you for coming out. Um, this has been a dream of mine. I used to be a podcaster, but once I came to this house, I knew that I just had to share it with the rest of the world. It's an incredible place. Absolutely. So what um, What can visitors to, to your, your fine amusement park... Uh, uh, look forward to what they what can they expect to see? Well, they can enjoy the rides, get their souls extracted, and uh, you know have a family fun time. What what was that about souls? Their souls will be renewed by the joy they have here. Okay. Yes, we have a a delightful carousel that the whole family, kids, adults, teenagers, tweens, they're all gonna want to ride it. And trust me when I say. Once you're here, you'll never want to leave. When you're here, you're family. <laughs> yes, mm. great time. All right. Well, that sounds like it might be trademark infringement or something. Anyway, this has been Christy Karnston for ABC 511 News. Come on down to the 
this place and enjoy the park and the fun. Uh, uh, fun for the whole family. You'll never want to leave. Oh, is this your first day on the job? Yes. Yes, you're a terrible newscaster. <laughs> I'm, I'm not very, uh, what's the word? Uh, good. Would you like to go on the merry-go-round? <laughs> Absolutely. Now that we're off the air, I would love to check out some of your amusements. Just this way? 